Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today and welcome to episode two of my Song in a Week challenge where I've got just seven days to write, record, release yet another song here. So if you have not caught up on the first episode, suggest you go back and catch up on that one first because in today's episode, we're going to continue on with the songwriting process. So, so far, what we have done is we've got our chorus written, we've got our song structure drafted. Today we're going to be getting our chords set up and really define exactly how the end-to-end -end song is going to look and sound here today before we start the actual recording process. So, let's go. Okay, so let's get on with this and continue this songwriting process. First thing we need to do is bring up our song notes here. So just a quick overview, we've got our verse here at the start here. In fact, we've got our intro. We should probably actually write down that we have an intro here first. So let's go in here and type intro. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually start working out how many bars each of these are going to be, which I'm just gonna put in brackets after each one. Um, so the so that we can start working out how, what the chord progression is and get this right. So. So it's one, two, three, four. So uh, the intro is actually going to be eight bars in total. So each sort of section is going to be sections of four chords. So the intro is actually going to be the eight bars. And then our actual verse is going to be 16 bars in length in total. Now, the verse into the chorus is potentially going to have an extra bar in there. So I just need to work out if I want to play that extra bar here. So let's go ahead and look at that now. So the verse is... So let's just say that's the third. Now this is from like 13, 14, to 15, 16. Yeah, so because it's the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So what I'll do here is I'm actually going to put 16 there plus one. It's actually 17, but that's just going to remind me that the verse has the 16, the four sections of four, and then the one bar is just the first note with the three, two, three, four. Now I did mean to, I did want to mention in the first video, and I forgot to that if you're not following a lot of the the chord names I'm talking about, uh, don't worry too much about that side of things you can just work through the structure. So if you're not familiar with music theory or if I'm saying things that don't make any sense, first of all, hey, don't worry, but you can also drop me a comment and let me know and then I'll explain a little bit more detail. I just don't want to go into a whole lot of detail because if you want to learn about chords and music theory, there's plenty of other videos that can do that. I want to focus on writing a cool song. So let's continue on here. So the chorus then goes into our... So it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so the chorus is going to have 16 bars as well, I think. So let's just go through and I'll, I'll play through one of the choruses and we'll go and wait, make sure that that's going to be right. I didn't know it was a seven, two, three, four, one. So it's actually going to be eight bars because I one and two and three and four and uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to work out here what my progression. Sorry, what uh, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> what speed I'm going to do and then what the count's going to be because. same length the verse and the chorus I think it is see this is what I normally do without a camera watching me so it's a little bit easier to do that let's just pretend it is 16 we'll come back and fix that up when we do our chord progression it's going to look a lot easier because we're going to be able to see each of the bars here and what we do so let's go back to our verse again and assume that we're going to go with 16 there for a second verse which will be the the same And then the second. Mm -hmm. 
So what I'd actually like there is for the build up to be probably an extra two bars in there, but still have that. So I might even put plus two and then plus the one. Because at the end of that verse, it's going to do the, it's just going to sit on and hang up on that B diminished chord and then do that for two and then do the and head on into our chorus. So let's just pretend our chorus is going to be 16 again, which we're pretty sure it is. If we're doing it at that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. I've probably got that doubled. <laughs> yeah, I think I do. You're going to be following along going, this guy cannot count and he needs to uh, check on all of this. We'll get there in a minute. Now the bridge was going to be a... confident is going to be H based on our counting at the moment and then we're going to come in here with this final chorus with the verse chords which is this sort of quiet section and that's going to be the sort of first half of the chorus so that's going to be H and then our final chorus is probably going to be it's going to be H in fact that's sort of going to be a second half of the chorus and then I think we're going to have a final chorus which is probably going to be a full 16 and then maybe like a, a plus two at the end to have the ring out. Now that was all probably ridiculously uh, tedious and boring to watch. Uh, and this isn't a final chorus, it's just going to be the second half of this chorus. But this is the sort of stuff that if you set this up now, it is going to make the rest of your songwriting process a lot easier. So yes, you had to sit through the last three or four minutes of me doing all of that. But now when I go through and put my chords in, it's going to make life easier for me, I promise. So let's go ahead and do that now with our chords. So, so the first is going to be, so it's going to be first bars, one, two, three, four. So it's going to be basically the E minor that we have there that we talked about. So E minor is going to be our first chord. Let's take that off. And then we move to a C, up to a D. And then an A diminished. So it's going to repeat that for the two bars of the intro, which is all good. We then step into the verse, and this is where our copy and paste comes in nicely. So we're using a computer or an iPad or an iPhone or any device is a little bit easier than a paper and pencil. So what we actually want there though is this last one, we want that to go to a B diminished, like so. And then we want that last plus one to be a B diminished that's just hanging out on where it just does the. So I'm just gonna do B diminished dot, dot, dot. That'll remind me that that's that 17th. So we've got our intro of eight, we've got our verse of 16. Uh, and then we come into our chorus, and this is where I'm going to work out if I could actually count properly, because the chorus section here is going to, so it's going to be, so this is where we're going to not have one chord per sort of bar, and it's going to get a little bit more involved. So the actual chorus is going to go one, two, three, four, one. So it's going to have the E minor and then up to the G. So we'll hit E minor, E minor G. Take that bold off. I don't like bold. And then one, two, three, four, one, two. And then the second one is going to go the do. So that's going to be the A major, and then up to our C, A major, C, and then D. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, three, four. So each one of those is going to be two bars worth, so this is why it's looking a bit confusing here. So this is going to be two bars. Just writing this out because this uses a little bit of a different rhythm. It's not just one chord per bar. It's going to help me if I do this here. 
put that there. And the last one. So it's gonna hang out on the A there. So the A there is going to dirt, dirt, dirt in that one there. So again, it's looking confusing. This is kind of my shorthand. You'll develop your own way of doing this as you go. But there we go. We've got the basic structure down there now. The verse is going to be a repeat of our verse. So we can do this and we can copy and paste. Now, I did mention that the verse won't actually be a copy and paste because we want to bring in some additional guitars here and do some other things and then do some things yeah, <laughs> to some additional instrumentation. But the only difference here is that the B diminished is going to hang out there for three full, well, for two bars. Uh, two bars, two bars additional. And then we're going to kick back into our chorus, which is going to be a repeat of our chorus. Except that once we finish our chorus, we're going to head to the bridge. And the bridge is going to it's gonna go it's gonna just do G G two three four A two three four G two three four A two three four we're doing some gaga gaga so it's not actually gonna be eight because it does that <laughs> So it then goes, what, what chord is that? It's a C. So G, A, G, A, G, A, C. And then I did think about holding there and having an additional bar or two there just as a bit of a build up to go back in, but I'm gonna leave it as that for now. Let's come into our final part here. We've got our chorus with our verse chords. So this is where it's gonna get a little bit tricky because it's going to go, I didn't know it was a sin. Yep, so there's eight. So it's actually, we need to grab eight bars of our verse, which is there, plunk it in. And then we need to, yep, do the same back to our chorus. So then it's going to go into our chorus like this for the second half of that, which is why I've got it as eight here. So these two are kind of linked together. So let's link them there in the document. And then we're going to do the final chorus where we're just going to wail away on, actually, let's just grab this because we're going to do a big, long 16 of our final chorus and then that A there at the end is just going to stay till the very end da, 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 da. and final there so there we go now I'm going to come back in and clean this up but this is the basic and, and yeah there's a hundred one different ways to do this there's a Nashville chord numbers charts there's other ways that you can represent this you can write it out you can put it next to the lyrics whatever it is, but for this one, I just wanted to quickly get all of this down and ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is to finish up here today, thank you for watching, by the way, and for sticking with me through this. If you did, Godspeed, you've done well. And what I'll do is I'll play through this arrangement as we have it now, and just see how it fits and follow along as we go here and make sure this works. So I'm gonna to need to zoom out a little bit to start with, and there we go, just so I can see a little bit more. So thanks for watching. As I said, if you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below, and I'll see you on the next video. Now let's play some sin. One, two, three, four. Do, 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 do.
So we got down to here. <laughs> uh, yep, so we've done our verse, and now we're coming back to our uh, verse section. <laughs> So there was that um, additional two bars that we just held out on there. Then we're back into our chorus. <laughs> probably needs to hang out there. I'm going to actually add that because I reckon that C needs to hang out there. I told you it would be a playthrough, but when you're playing through, you've still got to keep playing. So we want that C to hang out for another two so we can build up, got a whole bunch of instruments, you're going really hard, and then you come back in with just your um, acoustic. I didn't know it was a C. With the verse, no, it wasn't a problem anymore. So yeah, um, that chorus is actually going to be probably 16. I'm going to have to come back and do some serious counting here. And uh, I'll be doing that in the next video. And then your final chorus is just going to rock out. And then... I might, I might go back to an E at the end. We don't know. Anyway, that is enough. Next time, we're going to be doing some actual recording using music memos. We're going to see if music memos can get a hold of this arrangement and do something cool with it. We're going to show you how we can use music memos and bring it across into GarageBand. Whether we continue using it, I'm not sure. Thanks for watching. Hello, Pete here for Studio. <laughs>